Hi everyone! Today it was so boring to type VASD for a long time. So I decided to replace a motherboard in an old computer. After I removed the left side panel, which hold it by two common screws, now we can look into the inside of this computer. Alright, now I screw out the screws which hold the video card and the other expansion cards. In this case we have an audio card, a network card, the integrated network adapter isn't work on this motherboard. Now I pull out the cards from the slots. Now I remove the motherboard itself, but it is not that easy without a magnetic screwdriver. Fortunately, this motherboard holded by two screws only. So after I screwed out the last screw, finally I can take out the motherboard from the case. And here is the Asus P4 P800E Deluxe. An ATX form factor motherboard with socket 478. Let's put the CPU to its socket, just for a little help. If you do this, then you need to look for the arrows, both on the motherboard and the CPU. The arrows has to be on the same direction. Don't forget to turn down the little rod on the right side, because I forgot to show you. I have to make sure that the CPU cooler has the best fixedness for the best cooling performance. Then I connected the connector of the CPU cooler, otherwise I could be in a hot situation, ha ha ha. Let's install the 1GB DDR SD RAM. It's ready to put it to the case. And now we can install the expansion cards. The video card, what you see right now, is an Eti Radeon 9250 128MB DDR card with EGP 8x connector. And the audio card is Advanced Logic ALS 4000. It isn't work by the way, but I put it back anyway. I had to remove the power supply from the case because the cables are didn't let me to put the motherboard in.
now I connect the power connectors to the motherboard. Here you can see the front panel connectors. In this case I have only the power switch cable. Let's connect the hard drive and the only functioning optical drive first with the IDE cable to the motherboard. It's not the good optical drive, so let's connect it to the good one. And now, here come the 4-pin Molex connectors. We connect these to the devices. And it's done. Now some cable management. Uh... I connect the main power to the power supply and the network cable. But unfortunately it's not long enough to do that. Let's hit the button! BOOM! It works! After that I installed the Windows 7 and everything went fine. If you enjoyed this video then please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye bye!